Hello everyone, I'm Geek Freak and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Death Arena's Magic Battle Royale Natsu vs Twilight Sparkle vs Sora vs Harry Potter Death Arena. So if you guys haven't seen this video, please go and watch that video first. Watch that, come back, watch, it, watch me watch this. And so let's continue. Okay, um, I know Twilight Sparkle, I know Natsu to some extent because... Uh, I mean, I did, I, I did watch... Um, um, uh, f um, what's it called? Uh, fairy Tale, but... I lost lost interest to like online because it was I mean to, I mean even though it's got like some 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 nice fan service in, in, in there but uh, for me it just felt too um you know too safe in, in, in my in my opinion but um as 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 for um yeah you know, so it's, it's it was the same with My Little Pony I mean the f the first few seasons was you know it felt like it was a show about nothing I like that uh, yeah I was I was more like you know, like a sort of like in and out when it came to like your know, My Little Pony but. Um, I mean, the first the first few seasons, it felt like it was a show, but nothing. But um, I mean, yeah. So yeah, I, I know I know Fairy Tale, I know My Little Pony, Sora. Um, not 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 not, not gonna lie. I mean, I am a fan of like um, your know, Kingdom Hearts. I mean, I've played one, two. I've played um, Chain of Memories, and there's the another one. Um, a hundred something some days later, or so, or something, and um. I I I haven't played um you know part 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 three yet so um <laughs> I I I'll just uh, if, I, if I doesn't give give too many spoilers, and Harry Potter it's 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 the same I mean I got I watched the the first few movies but uh, I lost interest you know, like along along the way, so uh, yeah I mean I, I wouldn't say like I've lost like interest in in um in uh a Kingdom Hearts it's just that I haven't got around to like you know play, playing like all all the game all the games I mean I was. Like playing, you know, all the games, but you know, I, I, I stopped there because, well, well <laughs> I, I, I don't know, but, but so I'm, I'm gonna get around to Kingdom Hearts as, as soon as I can. So, uh, who do I think is gonna win in this fight? Um, I think pff, I'm gonna go with it's gonna eat. Either, I'm gonna go with Natsu. I, th I think I think he might actually like win this fight. So, uh, yeah, well, all said and done, let's get to watching. So, this is. There we go. So this is Death ba Death Arena's uh, Magic Battle Royale, Natsu versus Twilight versus Sora versus Harry Potter, and three, two, one, and go. This will be fun. Hey. Wait a second. Is that, is, that, is, that, is that crazy? Was that crazy? And the master on there. That'd be awesome. Oh, here we go. Welcome to a magical episode of Death Arena. Today, we have a battle royal between four of the greatest magic users, Sora, Nods, Twilight Sparkle, and Harry Potter. With that hmm. being said, let's introduce our next fighters. Once upon a time, there was a small child, full of promise, named Sora. Mm -hmm. He lived on the Destiny Island with his friends, Riku and Kerry, and grew up honing their athletic skills by playing sports with a hint of things to In my opinion, I, th I think I think I think the first I think the first um, Kingdom Hearts game is superior. Island lived a peaceful life, but it wasn't long until a soulless embodiment of evil would invade the island. Uh, the second the one, yeah, you know, was um, I wouldn't say as good as the as the first uh, game, but it was the dark it was um. Daylight. Uh, it was it was, it was it was it was like you know good. It wasn't like as good as the first one, but um, the second one it was like you know uh, I don't know. It just seemed with the kingdom key. Sora had the means. I don't know. I mean, it, it had some really good elements in it, but I just didn't feel like it, you know I had like what the the, the first one had. Like shooting fireballs, freezing bodies with blizzards, fighting with lightning. And more. I can't, I can't, I can't, but it, 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 it seems to, uh, it seems to have more, um, like, you know, more button, ba button ba bashing than the, the first one. I mean, the first one had, like, story. I mean, yeah, the second one has had story, but the, 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 the first one had, you know, a button bashing and a good story. Not to say that the second one was a bad story. 
he willingly went to what he truly believed to be his death because he believed that this was the only way to defeat the Dark Lord. Harry was also marked by what Lord Voldemort once deemed a weakness for heroics, he would go to great lengths and take great risks in order to help others, particularly his loved ones. Notably, this was taken advantage of by Voldemort in 1996, when he lured Harry to the Department of Mysteries by making him believe that his godfather was in danger. Harry was also very strong-willed and unafraid to stand up for himself. The fact that he was capable of repelling the imperious curse suggests that he had an unusually strong sense of himself and his morals. Dumbledore once made parallels between Harry's traits and qualities that Salazar Slytherin looked for in his own hand-picked students, but noted that Harry's choice not to draw on those qualities really defined who he was rather than the simple fact that he had them. As the chosen one and the boy who lived, he is one of revered figures in wizarding See, world Chambers, as much as Dumbledore and Chamber Voldemort Secrets. themselves in addition of being Prison, the ask, ask about. of Quidditch in a century. His trademark wand it's hard uh, uh, to believe that um, the Harry Potter series um, placing in the hands of a witch or it, wizard of natural it was um, in his like, infancy, like all those years ago was a I, th I think that is gonna win this one I heard that, heard that is like an invincible uh, uh, dragon mode or something the town and killed everybody not so had to be revived as a demon though this gave him the potential to become even more powerful than Zirath not so possesses superhuman speed impressive strength and unbelievable durability. He has superior senses such as sight and smell, along with the mastery of hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Mix all that up with his fire dragon slayer magic and you got one fiery cocktail that'll knock just about anybody on their butt. As the name <laughs> suggests, fire dragon slayer magic revolves around conjuring and manipulating fire. A prime example would be Natsu's signature move, the fire dragon's roar where he literally shoots fire from his mouth or he can um in my opinion i think i think um, i think um not to his um twilight was is is annoying in my opinion from a young age to learn magic he, 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 think, he acts about thinking she raised the sun at the summer sun so reminds me of, of luffy in a way exam to enter celestia's school for gifted unicorns in which she had to magically hatch a dragon's egg Twilight ascended from Unicorn to Alley Corn after managing to compete in She was bad before she had wings. Created by the legendary Unicorn Wizard Star Squirrel the Bearded, becoming a princess in the process. Along oh, with the five thanks. other bearers of the elements of harmony, she eventually unleashed the rainbow power, which she used to defeat the evil Centaur Tyrak. In doing so, she gained the new crystal palace in phone. Is it on? Isn't she like the technically like a, a unicorn by birth and, and then she was an alicorn later on? Powerful attributes are her magic and high intelligence. She is a practical genius and knows countless spells like telekinesis, teleportation, and much, much more. Overall, these four warriors all have unique magical abilities that work differently and are true forces to be reckoned with. Spirit. Okay, here we go. This, this will be good. Um, I, 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 I hope Sora wins. Oh, there goes Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. Harry's only human. I mean, yeah, he's a wizard, but he's, he's still, he's still a human. Have a good devil. Yeah, yep, yeah, I thought thought so. Th okay, so it's Sora and not Sue. Baskets. Really? I mean, not too lost. Come on, really? Oh, 
Okay, you just did that. Oh. I'll run in the crotch. Oh no, it's in the leg. Thank God. <laughs> Come on, really? I, I would have thought that not two would have won, but you know, whatever. Solra technically had the least amount of experience. His power was more than over the top. Harry was the first to die because he is the least skilled, durable, and strong. Mats's power level at most was able to reach multi-continent level at most. So what this really came down to was Solra versus Twilight, which was very tricky to decide. Both Solra and Twilight possessed numerous spells and techniques that could finish. I would have thought that not to would have won that, but you know, whatever. Category besides experience that Twilight had the edge in, and that is intelligence. While Twilight could think of a near flawless battle plan, Sora had a counter for pretty much all of her spells. If Twilight wants to finish Sora off, she'll have to get Sora to use up his magic, which she can't do that easily. Finally, Sora's Keyblade is linked to him, so even if Twilight were to teleport it to another location, Sora could just summon it back. I guess you can say it was the key to this fight. The winner is Sora. Fair enough. Huh. Neat. Okay. That, 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 that was awesome. Um, I have to be talk about, to talk to me about I mean, I would have thought Natsu would have won that fight, but, you know, whatever. It's... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad that Sora won though. So, that, that was great. So, um, if there's anything you guys want me to react to, just leave in the comments section below and I'll get the video as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching. And if there's a series you want me to check out and review and give my thoughts on it, or if there's a top 10 list you want me to do, or any reactions, or responses, or rants on anything geeky, just leave links and comments in the comment section below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put the bell on, share this video and leave a comment in the comment sections below and as for my social medias i'm literally freaking everywhere i'm on most video platforms social medias forums and support sites it's best to pause the video and see where i am literally all this is down in the description box below so if you want to go and check those out please do i'm geek freak peace out